What's up, homies? All the Canadians, I like it. Yeah, so I grew up in Edmonton, and I'm, I'm a proud Canadian, so it's always nice to come back home. Yeah. Good, good. You know, the most common question that I get is all about, uh, questions that I get are about recording the tracks that I do for, for YouTube and stuff like that. People, you know, like, how do you get that guitar tone on that song? Or how do you do your drums? Or how do you mix? Or what about mastering? Or how do you release your music? Because I put out a couple independent solo albums now. So I thought, I'll just put it in a clinic, you know? And then I can teach it in, in kind of clinic form and try and show people exactly the process and what I do. Um, because really, to be honest, I mean, especially in the past six months or so, I haven't even, I'm building a new studio space right now. So I've been working on that. But if you've seen any of the videos that I put out in the last six months or so, and for a couple of years previous, quite a few of them, we're all done at home. Like I'm working with essentially exactly what you're seeing right here for most of the time, which is just an Apollo twin from UA and my Mac. And that's it. And so it's this really basic setup um, and augmented, of course, with some of these great products from folks like Sir that, uh, that have allowed me to do stuff that, that we just couldn't do before. I mean, there's like no way to really, even 10 years ago, to get the kind of tones that I'm able to get now. Uh, and certainly not in like a condo or an apartment or like, you know, through headphones at 2 a.m. with a baby sleeping in the next room kind of thing. But get some raging, like really cool rock and roll guitar sounds, you know? What I'm gonna do right now, you guys probably already know this, but I'm gonna track a song in the clinic. And I'm gonna cut a bunch of different guitar parts and show you exactly the process essentially that I do at home. put down a little bit of uh, rhythm guitar. Okay, so now the guitar on the other side, I'm gonna do a stereo hard pan, stereo hard pan, same part. So with, with melodies and stuff like that, and solos and stuff, you gotta leave yourself somewhere to go. So I'm trying to introduce little things like one at a time, you know? Leave space and stuff like that, but bring in little elements to And I'm using a greenback speaker sim. Maybe, maybe I'll try the V30 on the next one. Something a little more cutting. Yeah. 